Hi. Well, like she said, I'm Amanda and uh, my site's Guide for Moms. And thank you so much for taking the time out to chat with me today. Oh, thanks for having me. <laughs> <laughs> so let's start it off with, because I would like to know, you know, what first attracted you to this role? Did you actually, were you a fan of Luke's Clues? Well, actually, my sister, who's a lot younger than me, she uh -huh. used to watch Steve. So when I'd babysit her, I'd be watching Steve. And I thought it was, what a, a for, what forward-thinking show it was, especially, you know, when Steve would look at the camera and talk to the children. I thought, mm -hmm. this is good. This is seeing the kids, acknowledging them. And then, of course, time passes by. Mm -hmm. Blue's Clues is far, far away in my mind. And I get a call to audition for a kid's show. Oh, I had no even... clue. Oh. <laughs> I had no clue. Uh, I didn't know it was for Blue's Clues. All my agent told me was this is for children's show. Here are the lines. There's going to be a song at the end. It's, it doesn't matter. Just make up a melody. Just sing it. Uh -huh. um, okay. So I did the audition and then I get a call back for a chemistry audition with Josh. Oh. That was fun. <laughs> That so then fun. you knew then that it was Blue's Clues, right? Then I knew it was okay. Blue's Clues. <laughs> I had to dig in the archives and I, oh, yes, it was Steve who started it. Yeah. And then make the connection to why Josh, Filipino. And it mm -hmm. turns out Josh is the cousin. Yes. And then, like you said, a, a Filipino descent. So, yes. you know, how did that make you feel when you found that out? proud. I, I felt so proud that representation mm -hmm. is out there. The doors are wide open. Mm -hmm. And even though Josh and I are Filipinos, the fact that children all over the world are seeing people of color on screen, looking at them, interacting mm -hmm. with them, it just opens the door. I have a, I, I need to tell you this. Amanda. Oh, oh, listen, please do. <laughs> I have a best friend. She's a singer. She's, um, she's a first nation. Um, she lives in Nashville and she has a daughter, Jaja, my princess. Um, I mean, Jaja is, I think, four years old mm -hmm. she doesn't know the difference between filipino or first nation or mm -hmm. chinese or but the moment she saw my face she glowed her parents were videotaping her reactions for me mm -hmm. she glowed and and i thought wow the impact on all kinds of children not just the filipinos all kinds Mm -hmm. It just warmed my heart. Carolyn, you're making me tear up. <laughs> you're oh, making me I know. Because <laughs> no. it's so important, it is. you it know, is. to to be acknowledged and to mm -hmm. have Nickelodeon ha continue on with Blue's Clues and you in mm -hmm. this manner. And like I said, it doesn't matter if I'm Filipino. What they're seeing is the dark hair, the different kind of cheekbones, the shape of the face. Yes. And if the if the child feels that. Mm -hmm. then they know they're okay. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yes. Oh, okay. Let's, oh. I will move to a lighter set. Okay. Like, okay. Be... okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you're so right. You're so right. I mean, that's why I wanted to talk about it right away on this, but yeah. so, but now you're a grandmother, like you said, to millions of kids watching <laughs> millions of kids. And how, you know, how does that feel? And do you get recognized a lot? Um, I get stared at. Um, <laughs> I mean, I don't have children. So, okay. and I am at the age where, okay. you know, I could be a grandma. Mm -hmm. So it is so heartwarming to have all these children. And I, I know it's their parents yeah. popping <laughs> up into my private message on Facebook or Instagram uh -huh. or Twitter saying, hi, Lola. <laughs> and it doesn't take much for me to say hi. Don't forget, Lola loves you, uh -huh. and that's all. And I get these big smiley faces. Uh -huh. it, well, you say it, it might be it's probably their parents, but it could be the kids. Because listen, my kids do it better than I do. <laughs> okay. For sure, for sure. Um, walking down the street, of course, I don't have the bun. I'm not wearing the blue outfit, uh -huh. but there's quite a few times where I'm walking down the street, and these 
little children would just, you know, holding their parents' hands and look up at me and point. <laughs> and I know they know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Well, that, I was going to ask you if you had grandkids of your own, which you said you haven't. Well, yeah. how does it feel now kind of having Josh as one? Do you all have like off, even off screen that maybe grandmother kind of grandson <laughs> chemistry or, <laughs> you know, when we text each other, uh -huh. um, the, uh, in Tagalog, in Filipino, ate means sister, kuya means brother. So he would text me, hey, Lola Ate. Aww. And I would say, hey, Kuya Apo. <laughs> we so it's have, more like a brother-sister relationship. <laughs> it's a brother-sister relation. Uh -huh. um, and, and Josh is so warm. And what you see on, uh, what you see on screen is him. I, so. I, I can agree. I mean, I've Zoomed with him like this and interviewed yeah. him before. And he was a wonderful person. So, yes, I definitely... Yeah. Oh, I only have two minutes left. Oh, no, I have oh. so many questions. <laughs> okay, go, 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 go. <laughs> so, well, one thing, you know, getting to the, you, the cooking. So I was wondering, you know, uh, was that something you, were you a cook, you know, before? Is that a requirement? Did you have like, or even if you're not, did you have like a favorite recipe that was made and you replicated it? Tell me a little bit about that. Um, I'm not a baker. Okay. <laughs> so I leave that job to my friends and I visit them and I enjoy their cakes uh -huh. and babinkas. I am, I do cook. I cook this dish called adobo, which is a pork or chicken dish marinated and I'm drooling marinated in soy sauce and vinegar. And then the meat just falls off. There's pepper and bay leaves and everybody adds a special touch. So everybody's adobo is just that special. Mm. You had me crying and now you have my mouth watering. I, <laughs> I need to try this. All right. So one last, cause I know I have to wrap it up, but I did want to ask um, if there was anything about, you know, your culture that you would like to just share with others that maybe we don't know or something you would like to share with us. Filipino culture, mm -hmm. women rules. Oh, Oh, I can get back to that one. I, girl power. Yeah, yeah it, it is girl power. It uh -huh. is a matriarchal society. Um, so grandma uh -huh. has the power. Mother has the power. Daughter has the power. Not saying the boys, the guys have none, mm -hmm. but it is a very matriarchal society. Business women are, is normal. We have had presidents women presidents, um, we won't get into politics, but position of power, you will see a lot of women in our culture. I might have a little Filipino in me because that's how mine is. I'm, I'm the boss. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> well, thank you so again. It was a pleasure talking with you and chatting. And I thank do, you. I love this show. I loved, you know, the your addition to this show. It's great. So thank you, Amanda. Thank you.